Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So this video will uh, take a look at a lot of toy pickups. Uh, I've got uh, uh, shopgoodwill.com pickups. I got actual Goodwill thrift store pickups. I've got uh, toy pickups for my toy channel. So let's check it out. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, I've got to get caught up here. I got a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, I'll probably break it up into a couple videos. Uh, actually, because I got to do one lot at a time here. I got filled my table up with toys and then I have to show that off then put it aside and show you the next stuff. So, so we'll look at that. And we'll look at some sales. All right, here we go. Here's a pretty cool lot. Oh yeah, real quick. Uh, my other, my toy channel, Radical Retro. I'm going to be unboxing uh masters of the universe uh masterverse revelations trap jaw so if you haven't checked out my radical retro channel go over there and subscribe for uh more about toy collecting and stuff like that so this was i won two auction lots one's a vintage masters of the universe lot and one is these power rangers stuff these power rangers seem to be like power rangers that are more like transformer power rangers they they steal them from transformers a little bit but that's good because people really like those toys. Oh, so anyways, these two lots were actually from the same Goodwill, uh, same location, and I didn't realize that. So I, uh, I tried to get a sweeter deal with com combined shipping, and most of the time, Goodwill is pretty good with that. But this time, they weren't so great about it because they marked this lot right here as like 21 pounds to basically make it to where on the computer you couldn't combine it and I don't this thing their actual weight was less than 15 pounds of this thing of this lot and so I was like hey can you combine the shipping and they're like oh if it's too heavy or something like that I'm like listen listen just put these masters of the universe stuff in with this it you know it's gonna be better for you anyways uh, so they did combine the shipping but they were being stupid about it the, the shipping cost was like ended up being like 47 bucks so i actually was the only bidder on this auction i actually won this auction for like 8.99 opening bid but then they uh charged like basically 50 bucks shipping for this for this lot here which is a little high um so i was trying to get a little break i think it maybe they it basically made it to where they knocked off like five bucks because they had the shipping rate high on this thing anyways so like 35 40 bucks and even on this, the shipping rate was high. So I'm a little bit disappointed in this Goodwill, this particular Goodwill location, unfortunately. The the, the, the lot is good and everything. Because I paid like oh, around 150 bucks for this stuff right here. So it's not like they were going to lose money or anything. So they could have done me better, but whatever. Either way, I'm happy with what I got. Um, just isn't quite as sweet. So... Uh, I'll go over the Masters of the Universe stuff real quick. Um, so this lot, I'm going to do a... I'm going to cover this more in depth on my uh, on my other channel too, my toy channel. But I basically got a Wind Raider that turned out to have better decals than the one that I have. So, uh, And then it has the wings here. One of them was broken, but I have my Wind Raider has a broken wing. So now I'll be able to complete my Wind Raider with better decal, decals. And then we've got a nice uh, Battle Cat for resale. And we got a Beast Man with... Uh, his armor piece but more importantly his arm gauntlets so that was the final pieces i was a nice set of arm gauntlets is what i was missing for beast man to complete him so i think i actually have now masters of the universe wave one complete absolutely complete so i start making my videos of uh masters of the universe identification and that's gonna be neat because i'm gonna not only will i have the complete wave one but i have now three variants of skeletor to show off uh so I scored this. This is the reason why the lot, I think, was so expensive. Well, I mean, there's He-Man and everything in here, but uh, this is a half boot, purple trunk, peach face Skeletor. So this is an uncommon Skeletor variant, one of the first runs of him. And so uh, that's in there. I finally have that variant because I didn't have the purple trunks. I have a peach face Skeletor, but he has brown, uh, black trunks, which I think is even more uncommon than this. Um, so now I have three different Skeletor and then I have the regular full boot non peach face to show. So I have three different variants, variants of Skeletor now to show off. 
and uh, almost he was almost complete. He's got his sword his, in his armor. He was just missing his uh, havoc staff, so that's pretty nice. And then there was uh, some merman accessories: the merman sword, and then He-Man's wearing the merman armor, nice complete armor. So that's a good piece. And then we got a vintage uh, 1981 Taiwan He-Man. Those are always good, of course. Uh, and then some of He-Man's weapons were there, his axe and his shield. So he was missing his power harness and his sword to be complete. So that was pretty good too. And then we had a man at arms that was missing everything, uh, missing, uh, his club and his, his, uh, his leg, uh, armor. So he's got his armor. He's a pretty nice figure and here's his arm piece. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, that was the lot pretty expensive but there's some good figures there uh, they sell for good money especially he-man and battle cat you put them together and if they're nice condition you can make a good sale on that and then this is a, a desirable skeletor for sure okay then i got this lot the opening bid again was only 8.99 but they really ding me up on the shipping but i think so we'll say i paid 50 bucks for it but these are power rangers um from the like oh in between 2011 and 2015 I think and I, these are the ones that are made they're like transformer style so I got a whole lot of them here and so now I got to go in and figure out what pieces go to what but I think I should be able to make some decent cash on these um, some of these figures I think are gonna be good ones um, and I've got a lot a, a lot of them to get lucky basically uh, get lucky on you know what I mean so we'll find what goes with what there's a few of them that are McDonald's toys, just but most of them are legit Power Rangers toys, uh, and they're not brand new. So uh, I should be able to make hopefully some good money on this stuff, depending on how complete the stuff is. It's always a puzzle trying to deal with all these uh, toys, man, but it's fun. So there's a pretty big lot. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys will see how I do when with my sales, and then be selling a lot of this stuff back and then adding a a the half boot uh peach face skeletor with the purple trunks to my collection as well as completing out my beast man's armor for my collection and then uh comp upgrading my wind raider to one that had this one has more decals uh than the my current wind raider so nice upgrades and sell a lot of it back and make a lot of my money back all right let me show you some more goodwill pickups um first off i bought these Rust-Oleum Never Wet Multi-Service Liquid Repelling Treatment, uh, two pack can, two packs of cans. Uh, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen of them. They were three ninety nine a, a piece, and I got the ten percent discount off of the off of them. So, uh, yeah, I think these sell for like all oh, eighteen to twenty. For one of these so i'm thinking about lotting them up either in two packs or three packs of, of, of these and trying to make 35 dollars sales something like that off of them uh, to maximize you know the shipping issue and everything because they're kind of heavy it's not gonna it's gonna be able to have to go priority mail or or uh, us or ups something like that picked up a Looks like a pretty uncommon DVD, Best of the Best 3. It's an old Lionsgate film deep release. Um, I think it might be worth 10 to 15, something like that. I paid, uh, I think, uh, $1.99 for that one. Picked up a bag of plushies today. Uh, it was $5.99 and then I got that 10% discount. Looked like these were all like Disney ones. So I, that's why I grabbed it with this one. Yeah, Disney Babies, Disneyland world so that's what uh what is that lady no 101 dalmatians maybe then we got uh oh yeah is that lady and the tramp another disney babies disneyland and uh here's a mini mouse then we got a uh is that Ernie? Yeah, we got an Ernie in there. 2013. And I don't know what this guy is. What is this guy? 
is Disney. Disney Store. So, I don't know, but I'm just taking a gamble on this bag because it seemed like it was all good Disney stuff. So, oh, here's another mini mouse. Two different versions of mini. And we got a Thai Beanie Baby uh, Lion King one. Simba. And then finally, there's a Beauty and the Beast clock one in there. All these are Disney Store, so we'll see how we do for $5.99 and a 10% discount. Then I picked up some Nerf. Uh, everything was pretty much $3.99. I got the Zombie Strike Bow Blaster. Seemed like it's pretty nice condition. All different genres here. We got the Rough Cut 2x4 for the End Strike Elite. And then we got the Doomlands Lawbringer. And then finally, uh, we got a rival with a magazine. It had some balls in it. I just gotta get one that's lodged out of there. And uh, yeah. All right, here's a pretty big batch of sales. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Oh yeah, the Nerf Dart Tag Speed Swarm, right there. That's over $29.82 total paid by the customer. Then we got uh, that Calphalon Pan underneath here. I uh, paid $2 for that. That one's all right, it's gonna be a, hopefully shipping doesn't kill me, but it sold for $27.42. Not bad for a $2 investment, but it's a big item. Then, uh, oh yeah, from my uh, recent vintage toy lot where I had this I had this trap jaw in the toy lot and a bunch of these vintage cars. Uh, that was a really good lot because the transformers in there were really good too. Um, and I saw, I've started to list those up and they're selling easily and for good money. Uh, so that toy lot actually turned out to be very, very profitable, especially since I sold the trap jaw too. So, uh, so the, uh, a lot of the transformers that were in that lot amongst the cars were transformers armada is what they're called from the early two thousands little mini these are called mini cons right here i sold two of those so far so the armada transformers armada emergency team that's these guys three three little figures there sold for 27.77 total pay by the customer then uh transformers Almar armada galvatron he was actually complete with his mini con on there and all three of his missiles and his uh horns on his head and everything that one there sold for uh 69.90 total pay by the customer and then uh oh yeah the armada energon energon figures the three energon jets they're like translucent uh 39.93 total pay by the customer for those and then i've still got optimus prime or a uh, gal uh, megatron like this he's a tank like this and i've still got more of those here's two more of the little mini cons and then more of the mini cons here so those actually turned out to be really good ones. Okay, and then uh, that those GI Joe Sigma Six figures and uh, accessories and stuff, and a couple old school uh, or '90s uh, 10 inch, 12 inch figures, whatever they are. That lot of GI Joe stuff sold that for 64.80. That was okay. I I didn't really do too well on that lot, to be honest with you. But I'm happy to go ahead and move it along. Um, Skeletor, vintage Skeletor armor. Nice armor set right there. Armor and loincloth. Skeletor armor sold for $42.63 total pay by the customer. These two um, Marvel 12 inch figures. We got uh, some version of Spider Man and uh, Thanos there. I usually get those in toy lots or something. I don't necessarily like buy them specifically to resell. 27.35 total paid by the customer and oh yeah the masters of the universe classics trap jaw did sell uh so this pays for that lot and then these transformers armada and the vintage cars are just making me a really good a really good profit so vintage trap i mean uh classics trap jaw sold for total price paid by the customer 275 set uh 26 so that was good uh this vintage uh Play Art Volkswagen Bug Car, uh, 1045 total pay by the customer. Oh, another um, from the Transformers Armadas 
uh, this little mini, this guy here, an intermediate size figure named Thrust. He sold for uh, 1568 total paid by the customer. Then uh, this Matchbox Dodge Charger Vintage, I think, yeah, 1970, 1081 total paid by the customer. And uh, oh, that Nerf football, <laughs> 1442 total paid by the customer. And then from my recent Star Wars lot where the item got damaged, I decided to go ahead. They they responded to me. I sent the picture of the damaged Darth Malgus. There's somebody who already asked me to get it from me, so they're going to get it. They get first crack at the broken Darth Malgus. But I started listing that stuff up, and I sold this Chewbacca from it for eleven sixty four. It was just a loose Chewbacca. I think that's Star Wars Black Series. So for the Darth Malgus, I'll, I'm just waiting to see what they're going to say about, about it. Uh, actually, I might just go ahead and say, you know, I might as well go ahead and sell it to who, the person that asked. I'll check right now and see. All right, here's some more sales. Um, these four Hot Wheels Redline cars from my toy lot, the Trap Jaw lot. That was a great lot. Um, those four red lines went on auction, uh, sold for thirty-six thirty total paid by the customer. And uh, vintage Galaxy Warriors, SoCo Galaxy War, uh, Galaxy Fighters. Pardon me. Uh, two doubles that I have here. I sold those for uh, uh, thirty-one sixty-seven total paid by the customer. And uh, these Ben Ten figures and two vehicles here, forty seventy-eight total paid by the customer. All right, here's some more sales. Um, okay, uh, Ampersand Flips decided to get that Darth Malgus that got broken from the Star Wars stuff from me. So, um, yeah, I think with a little glue, it'll it'll be okay. Um, got all the appendages there, and the lightsaber was intact, so you glue that back okay. It should be all right, and it's got the base foot pegs so I gave that to him for 20 bucks free shipping uh, it is over a pound so I have to do like priority mail or something so that should make me a, a buck or two and then get something uh, a little project for him so I hope you enjoy that and uh, yeah I think glue it back together and it'll look pretty good honestly and uh, let's see uh, some more of my uh, the uh, Transformers uh, Armada Mini Cons, the Attack set, the set of Attack Cons, Night Attack, I think that what it was, 2118, total paid by the customer for those. Then I sold that uh, nice Sarad from my Epic Masters of the Universe lot. Uh, this Sarad works really good. This, this vintage Masters of the Universe figure has a sparking feature in it, almost like if you, you can think of a Bic lighter. I don't know if you, you might be able to see it, but it works for, works pretty darn good. And to find one in really nice condition that has the working feature, it makes it pretty valuable. So that Sarad there sold for $77.37, total paid by the customer. Then finally, uh, that thrift store wrench, the, the vintage Diamond Ford rent, Borge wrench, uh, C79 model. Uh, $25.51 total paid by the customer. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.